I didn't mean weed. Oh, by the way, can you I say this? You said outside you do lines. I mean, like, you need <laughs> more along. <laughs> Yay Networks. Welcome, everyone. Um, Jeff and I just recorded this whole episode, and we're just going <laughs> to give a PSA to let you know this is like the most random mess, and we're not stoned or anything. We're just having fun, but Jeff's mad about our AC being broke. I worked all day in the house, and... We're going to talk... I don't know. Listen, stick with us. It goes in every single direction, <laughs> but I'm sweaty and uh, I don't know. You're I'm sweaty. I'm confused. You're mad. I'm talking about a serial killer that's yeah. in the making. So listen, I suggest you grab a drink, sit down. You have no idea where this podcast is going. And every time I say, you know what I mean? You got to take a sip. No, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Every time you hear that, you take a drink. I hope you guys enjoy the podcast. Stick with us because we'll do better next time. But enjoy the rest of this episode. I went and grabbed extra beers because it is Friday. This isn't Wednesday drink day drink. Even though this is airing on Wednesday. Yeah. We filmed this on Friday. And yeah, we were gonna have we kind of set up a nice episode, nothing really structured. We were just gonna talk about working with each other because Jordan's working on a project upstairs. We'll get to that. But then I was like, man, is it hot down here? And usually it's really cold. And now the air conditioning won't click on. And, and our water heater had broke our garage, like everything. And our garage door broke before that. So if our air conditioners broke, I'm selling one of our kids. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, we did something wrong. Something happened. We're well, it's hot down here. So if we're, we're sweating, it's not because we're I'm uh, actually, I'm not hot. I'm hot. You are? Yeah, whatever. Um, hey, things happen. That's life. Yes. And yeah. it always happens all at one time, especially yes. when you're a homeowner. So it's around this time. But our water heater, when it broke, it's the original water heater from when they built this house. So that was a long time. So hopefully if we get all this stuff fixed, on a positive note, hopefully in 20 years, we won't have to touch anything, right? Yeah, I'm sure we'll have no problems in okay. 20 years. Cheer but up, Grumpy. I'm not gr Well, first of all. Chug a beer. You'll feel better. I am. Uh, no, it's just like you, would, like these projects, mm -hmm. like you're like, oh, you know, we should get sliding glass doors. Let's not, let's knock down this wall that we never even use and make it a patio with an umbrella and uh, like barbecue. It would look nice. Oh, I, every, yeah. Who's paying for that? You. This is a podcast, not fans only. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Show my feet. Um, yeah, you already are. Oh, well, I have nice feet. Um, okay, so today check. we wanted... To I wish it was an advertiser. Um, so today we are going to talk about working, working with your partner. And I feel like a lot of things... I mean, we've worked together. It's not like a serious job. Everything we've done has been like reality shows or a podcast or a YouTube channel, things like that. But I don't know, like in the mornings, I, in the mornings, I like, well, I probably shouldn't say this because you're already in a bad mood. In the mornings, like Jeff gets on my nerves so bad, like I can't talk to him in the mornings. And then I think you feel the same way, right? What, what do you mean? Be specific. <laughs> I don't know. You just annoy me. Like, I just can't talk to you in the mornings. Well, like, I'm not super, I'm not a real morning person. You're I'm not, not super chatty. You're, um... Your uh, <laughs> an asshole, yeah, kind of. And then I like want to talk, and Jeff is like not, and so I just like avoid him. And then you just go to work. I don't even think we say bye to each oh, other. Oh, stop! Yes, we do. And then, um, and then he, when he's home, then like in the afternoon, it's like you woken up, you already worked out, you're out of your grumpy mood. So then you're you're ready to. Be Jordan, chatty. no, I'm fine in the morning. It just depends if I, what I have going on. Sometimes I like to work out in the morning, and then I'm like in a better mood because I already got that done. But you are—I don't even know if you know this—you're notorious. Oh gosh! Like, I'm gonna record it one okay. day. You don't say anything, right? Well, I'll just be like, "Hey, you got the kids' lunch? This or whatever." Like, we'll say the little things in passing. When I'm ready, I'll be like, "I right, love." I'm gonna head out, and as soon as I'm walking out the door, you'll be like, "Hey." Remember um, in the 1980s when 
uh, poison came out with that, you'll just start talking about anything. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I've, I'm about to leave. I've just been sitting here for a half hour. And you do it every single time I walk out of a room. Okay, he's talking about today. I know exactly what no, you're talking about. No, but you do it all the no. time. No, he's specifically talking about not. today. I, I was wasn't. doing the molding, a painting, the molding on our upstairs because it needed it. And the reason I did, I wanted to do it myself because every day I'm trying to, like, I got my house done, got the laundry done, got the fall stuff out, got the yard done. And each day I try to do something. So I was like, okay, so here's another project. And I feel like people, if I hire a painter, people come in your neighbor, our neighborhood and are like, yep, a thousand dollars. These people can afford it. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. And they, I'll do it myself. They do a premium. We get an extra premium charge. I feel like and sure. lately and listen, Although I'm not, every- I'm not trying to sound, um, like cold hearted either, because I know everybody right now, the way the economy is, I know everybody's struggling and prices are going up all around. Yeah. That's what it is. But, um, but I feel like we definitely get an upcharge on everything's like $5,000. That's that's why I'm so (laughs) pissed about the air conditioner. Like if it's broke, I think we're just waiting it out till winter. Yeah. I'm not even joking. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I'm really not. So you better buckle up, Quit sister. Quit worrying about it's it. It's going to be a sweaty September <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not fixing that thing. Oh, it's quit, but you quit being worried about Anyways, it. Anyways, so we're kind of, again, we have no real structure here. But tell everybody what you're doing upstairs. Okay. And this is kind of how we got to the idea of working together. Oh, yeah. And this was my whole point yes, talking yes. about where you got this from. Yeah. So <laughs> upstairs... Um, I'm doing all the molding on like the base mold. Uh, yeah, the base molding, and because it needed it, I don't even know. Because the, the kids have like these little, like, when they were little, little, they had like these little scooter. Th- they'd ride them around and just chip up all the base molding. Well, you know? everything's just been banged up up yeah. there. But besides that, so today I kept asking you a bunch of questions before you left for work. Yeah, and um, I think I asked you, can you open the paint? Can you get everything ready? I go, do I need a towel or something to wipe the baseboards down? And I could see your face. You were so annoyed with me because I kept asking questions and you walked away and you laughed. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but that wasn't it. You just, uh, yeah, that specifically today, but just every day, if we're just sitting in a room for a half hour watching a show and I'm like, all right, I'm going to head off to bed. I'll walk away and you'll be like, hey, real fast. What did you think? Of, and you'll start talking. I don't It's like this weird thing you have. No. Yeah, I don't you do. do I'll call time. you out next time. Okay. And next time I leave room, I'm going to secretly just take my phone and hit record and just not even. <laughs> and then I'll just turn around <laughs> and be like, oh, what did you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. Okay, we'll and see. And then. Um, so, wait, but so let's get back to the project about working together. So for some reason, when we're on camera, we work together really well. But when I have like something to do. I like to like immerse myself in my projects. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. kind of put on music or headphones and just kind of figure out what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I need this. I need this. Or I'll go get this or I'll run to the store. And I go to Home Depot like four times a day when I'm doing a project. Mm-hmm. And I like to just take care of it. Jordan, <laughs> it's like I get to a point where she asks me so many questions. I'm like, I'll just do it. Just <laughs> leave it alone and I'll do it when I get home because I don't feel like answering a thousand questions. Well, I sent him, it's so funny. I've seen a meme about this. After like 10 memes that you get, you're like, okay, I'm not looking at them Dude. anymore. I'll tell Jeff, I'm like, okay, I have this idea about something I want in the house and uh, I'll show him. And then I'm like, I sent it to you. Did you not open it? And then he's like, you sent me like, 10 memes today. Yeah. I'm not opening it. I, I do that all the time, though. I send No, you send me memes. 100 every day because you lay in your bed at night and just send me memes. And then you tell me about home improvement projects. And she, Jordan's like, oh, look, a DIY. You could build your own pool. I'm like, what are you talking? <laughs> I'm not putting What are you doing? I can't even afford our air conditioner. Yeah, that's right. What are you This is how at? this podcast is going today. This is how the uh, Friday's going. <laughs> Because you put so much on my plate, and I could only handle so much. All right, we'll take it off the plate. Well, stop sending me DIY projects. <laughs> okay, so we all want to hear a funny story since Jeff's being crabby. I'm not being crabby. Do you want to take a little break before you get into the story? Sure. We could grab another beer. Maybe I'll settle down. Yeah. Maybe it'll cool off by the time we come back. Okay. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. So, 
welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. I gotta. Okay, I have a. Y'all know I love uh, murder mystery, homicide, Dateline, twenty twenty. That's like my jam. So I'm always watching that. So last weekend, Jeff's parents were here. They watched the kids. Jeff and I, we don't really go venture out, go anywhere far. And uh, we had somewhere to go. And after, Jeff and I and some of our friends went to this bar we've never been to before. For me, like to describe it, it would almost seem like if you were out in the country. You could say it was like some people from our work. It was a work event. I didn't know if you wanted me to say that or not. Yeah, sure. Okay. So um, we went to this bar, and it's so fun. It's like country music, um, out in the middle of nowhere. It would remind me, like, being out in North Carolina, like, out in the country somewhere. Um, And this guy comes out of nowhere, okay? And this is me. I am always, like... On, I always have my guard up. I'm always looking and I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, you're getting into this story? Oh, yeah. I'm like, are you a killer? <laughs> so this guy. You didn't I, ask him. What? I didn't ask him that. Oh. I, I was didn't. like, did you ask him that? At the time when he came up, I didn't think he was a killer. But you guys, I think he's a serial killer. So this is my <laughs> point of the story. <laughs> Where is this going? I'm dead serious. So, okay, first of all, when you got a mustache, that's that's the first sign that you could be a killer, okay? He comes out of nowhere. <laughs> a mustache and a white van aren't a good combo. Yeah, and a white shirt. and He, he didn't have a white van, though. He had a white truck. <laughs> he had a white truck. So that's a nut. That's what a mur- if he's listening to his podcast? He's like, man, I thought we had a great time. <laughs> no, because I wasn't I wasn't wasted. Like, I was like, because, like, if I'm out at a bar, I will only drink, like, beers and, like, sit. And, like, you know, so I know what's going on and, like, the people around me and all that stuff. I knew what was weird. going on, too. I just thought he was, You like, were too busy talking. He was a little chatty. Okay, you thought he was kind of weird, too. I did think he was weird because he wouldn't shut up. So no. I was just like, okay, man, yeah, blah, 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 make the world a better place. I don't know what he was talking okay, about. Okay, so this is midnight, okay? It's me, Jeff, and two other people. And the guy just comes out of nowhere... The, it's only us four at the bar and two other guys on the end. Guy comes and out. And the workers, of, yeah. Yeah, and the yeah. workers. And the guy comes straight to me and goes, why are you guys all dressed up? I'm like, oh, we had an event to go to. And he's like, oh. And just, it'd be like me. Like, he just started randomly talking about nonsense. So I'm just listening. I'm being friendly and listening to him talk. And I have no idea, like, what he was talking about. He was, it was just, like, gibberish. And um, and then he kind of started getting weird. And I was like, all right, this guy's kind of weird. And you know, like, whenever there's, like, that awkward pause, you know, like, okay, the conversation's over. That means to walk away and, like, quit talking. And um, Jeff's other friend who was sitting beside me, he was checked out. He was like, I'm done listening to this guy. And um, I was trying to close the conversation down because it was way it was like we were wrapping up our night, too, you know, and I don't know. You got a different vibe, but I got it after. I know. I totally know where you're going with this, but I was trying to wrap it up. And I was like, all right, buddy, we got you. Cheers. Let's all do a toast. All right. Yeah, good, but you were talking. By. You were busy talking to our friend and I was sitting there talking to him the yeah, most. Yeah, you were. So, like I said, this guy was probably, he was way bigger than Jeff. Uh, he was a tall guy, mustache, hat. Like I said, this place is kind of out there, like far. Um, not much around and it's dark. And so, um, and like I said, wow, there was hardly any of us. Yeah, there was hardly any of us What's there. What's that one guy's name who does the voiceover for all that stuff? It was a cold night. You know what I'm talking about? Not Lester Holt. Not Lester Holt with the white hair. The oh, guy. I know who you're talking about, but I don't know his name. It was a cold, dark night in Pennsylvania, yeah. just like any other Thanksgiving. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. That's how I should have started this story. <laughs> um, so, the anyways, I'm like Jeff Dunn, like this guy. I'm like I'm done talking to him, and I'm like it's midnight. Or it was a little after midnight around that point. I was like, let's get our Ubers. Let's get out of here. And um, I get up from the bar and I start walking and I turn around to look at Jeff, like, let's go. Cause I grabbed his friend's bag. Um, she had like this huge bag. She, she had like luggage in there. <laughs> and anyways, <laughs> I turn around, that guy grabs my beer that I had left on the bar and starts chugging my beer. 
okay, that's disgusting. He doesn't know me. What if I had herpes? What if I had like something? The like herp? Yeah, the herp. I did uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I almost <laughs> derailed ahead. you from yeah. the start. So I was like, ew, you are a weirdo. You were, you're drinking some random person's beer. So anyways, we all are going to our Ubers and it was like he was waiting on us. So I told, I go outside and I tell our Uber driver, I was like, listen, um, we need to wait till our friend's Uber gets here because there's a weirdo guy and I need to make sure he's not a killer. Okay, and so Jordan said it just like that and our Uber driver's from Nepal and he barely speaks English and Jordan's like, there's a killer here and you gotta wait five seconds and the guy's like, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan went into this whole thing. And the guy's like, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> so we did. And um, I told Jeff, then when we're outside and he sees us getting in our Ubers, he gets in his truck, does like the whole peel out, like, Beep! and then just drives off. And like I said, it's super dark. There's nothing around. Everybody's gone. And I told Jeff's friend, I text her and I said, uh, you were going to be his next victim. And I saved your life. Wow. It's true. It was. It did get a little creepy towards the end. Maybe it was the mustache that made it creepy. <laughs> mustache, mustaches are like backing into a parking spot for me. It's like they're both unnecessary. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. But that's my story What's up? about that was last a good, week. That was a better joke than you gave it credit for. I never get your jokes. Think about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little break. <laughs> After your murder story? Yeah. Everybody go hug, hug your loved ones and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. After me talking about the guy that was going to try to murder us. Murder your friend. All of us. Yeah. I, you know what? what we if, were going to be locked he, in his basement. What if basement? he knew who we were and he was just like socially awkward? No one knows who we are. No, I'm I'm not saying like that. Like, oh. hey, no, I'm not saying like that. I'm saying what if he watched the show because we were out with some people from the show or he watched Big Brother or something and like maybe he was a little just awkward and had a couple drinks and that's how he, his no. way of being relatable. I'm just taking the other side here. He you know wanted what I mean? to lock us in the basement. Do you really think he was going to kill us? Maybe there was a, there was still a couple people. I know left socially, I there. can handle socially awkward people. There's plenty of socially awkward people. He was not socially awkward. He was very like engaging. Very. He's like the, uh, what is it? Uh, the other killer. I can't think of the name. Which one? Uh, Dahmer. Oh. He was social. You know, we go out to like the clubs. Not our clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. You did. All right, well. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, coming back, we are going to talk about people who don't have social awareness. Actually, today I was at the grocery, uh, not grocery store, the gas station. Actually, my kids always want to go to Target, and I've talked them into liking the gas station now, so it's way cheaper. So now we're always at the gas station. And um, <laughs> so today, this guy... I'm like going to pay and um, I'm like, hi. And he goes, what's up? And I was like, nothing. How are you? And he was like, chilling. And I was like, oh, that's good. I go, I've been painting today, you know, just making. You didn't get the cue that he didn't want to talk to you. Now he's doing a podcast talking about that. You're the no, he I go, oh, I've been painting today. And he goes, that's what's up. And then I was like, <laughs> I go, OK. I was like, well, have a good day. And then me and Lane walk away and it made me laugh. Remember on We're the Millers? Isn't it We're the Millers or Meet the Millers? Yeah. And the then, movie? Yeah. yeah. And the guy, <laughs> he's talking and uh, what does he say? He goes, um, you know what I'm saying? And the <laughs> oh, guy, <yeah. laughs> he's like, yes, I do know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Cause he's Jason like, Sudeikis? Yeah. Because yeah. he was like, sup? I was like, nothing. What's up? Well, at least he gave you something back. The worst was like when we, I have a, like, I, I'm so socially aware of other people and even their pain, you know, like, I don't know. Like when I notice, I don't know. I'd notice everything. 
But like when people are so socially awkward, it makes it like 10 times more awkward. Like when you're in an elevator, you know? Oh, you gotta look down on an elevator. I do that. I like No, but down. then when someone like strikes up a conversation, but really they're not good at conversation, and they're just like, whoa, it's pretty hot out there. You know, like as soon as someone pulls the weather card, it's like, oh God. <laughs> I'm get, I'm just gonna press the button and get off because I don't even want to. I don't even want to. You know it. what? It's good and it isn't good because, you know, like our parents, they didn't have their phones to just be like look down because it's awkward. You know. Yeah, but I like now, just naturally. I don't know. I don't know. I hate like forced conversation. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, whenever it's just two people in an elevator and it's quiet you and know, it's going up, I can't wait to get. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Whatever. We don't live in the elevator. Anymore. I I do like talking to people though. Like at a grocery or like wherever. If I meet somebody, I like talking to people. But oh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say like, uh, oh, it's the people that like are so weird that I want to ask them like, why did you just do that? Like, I can't wait till I'm 45, maybe I think like 70, you hit that age where you could kind of do anything like, you know, 70, 75, you could just cut in line and people are like, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Or like you're- <laughs> no, I sound like that guy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I mean? I want to get to that age where I could just ask people like, why did you do that? Like, or if the line's long, like, hey, move up. What are you doing? My thing is, for instance, we were at the podcast convention and we were pulling into the parking lot and these people walk out and they're just oh. walking in the middle. We're trying to park and they're just walking in the middle. So we're just riding behind them and okay. they didn't move. That's funny. And That's Jeff so was pissed. like, "What? see, these are the people I'm talking about. They have no social awareness. That stuff aggravates me. Like, but when you where have are you in like you're in what planet are you on when you're in a parking lot and you're just walking down the middle and there's a car behind you and you don't know and you're just involved with whatever conversation you're talking about. I want to stop the car. This I'm not even joking. I think about it. I want to stop the car and take my phone out and record them and like go up to them like uh you know like that show cheaters and you run up on them and just be like, "Hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Like what is going on in your world that you have no idea what's happening on the outside world? You're just in the middle of a parking lot walking with your friend and I'm behind you. I have things to do. Do you not have anything to do? I'm sorry, I get pissed off. You sound off. like Larry David. Because or, what's, what's happening? I think what's I, happening with people? I don't, I don't, I wanna ask, I wanna learn about your planet. Because what? I just don't think they care. I feel like a lot of people too, I always say this. I used to tell my mom, I always say every single person needs to wait tables. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And you learn how weird people are. People are so you do, weird. Yeah, and you get to learn how to- Social skills. Absolutely, skills. I know, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> it's the Modelo. I'd have half a Modelo now. I got skills. <laughs> um, yeah. So I. You're I, right, though. You're I absolutely think right. Waiting tables and like starting your kids working early in a like when they're younger. My parents made me uh, get a job at 15, and I was so mad because none of my friends had to get jobs, and they were, and I always had to work. Well, like, it shows you. I mean, that's a different thing too. Like you know, the you, value of a dollar, but waiting tables and being in service industry of any sort, you get to deal with people, multiple people from different backgrounds yeah. on a daily basis. So you learn how to navigate that world. You know what I mean? And anybody that's either, saying, you know what I mean? Anybody that's a server now, or you were a server in the past, you will relate to this. The people that run you around the most are the ones that don't tip you For and sure. the ones who stay quiet that are like just very polite and very like, thank you, are the ones that tip you the most. 100%. It always happens that way. Because you feel bad. You're like, what's up? It's just like a guy and his wife. And I'm like, do you need more iced tea, anything? You're like, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm like, do you want more cheese, whatever? And you're like, no. And then boom, like a fat tip. Yeah. And then people, right away you sit down, can I get lemon in my water? Hey, do you have a non-dairy butter? <laughs> I'm like, hey, do you want to get the fuck out of my section? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I dropped two F-bombs today. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. It's so Wouldn't true. Wouldn't it be great to just talk like that? 
It would be awesome. I used to be, I was a terrible server. I used to go, like, <laughs> when people, like, would be like, hey, you know, there's four of us. Ah, we're four couples. I'd be like, oh, yeah, you guys are having such a good time. They're like, can we all split it? I'm like, nah, our <laughs> computer's broke. We can't do that. In the South. I'm like, you guys figure it out. <laughs> in the South, everybody splits checks. And when I moved to L.A. and they were like, we don't split checks, I thought that was the weirdest thing. Yeah, I do like, now, I kind of like splitting checks now. You like it because he because you're a tight ass and you get no. That's not true. When the bill that's is. not true. It's the opposite. I if I'm out, which is rare, right? I want to get something nice. So maybe I'll get like a piece of steak with like a crab leg or something, whatever, and I'll have a nice drink, you know. And I don't want, I don't expect other people to pay for that if they're just eating like a salad. Right. So I take the. I'm like I rather just have my own bill oh. so you guys don't have to split that oh. because I've been at dinners before where I didn't have any money and. I just had something little and other people were being big shots. And then we all split it at the end. And I'm like, that's not cool. I don't like to do that. I'd rather pay for my own stuff. What's that face? Oh, because I, we've, I've been there with people before. Yeah. I think everyone has. Right. But, yeah. But I, is it rude to say, <laughs> they say rude weird. Mm -mm. Is it rude to say, what is it rude to say a split? No, I mean if you're ordering a bunch of uh, expensive wines or expensive drinks, and somebody's not really that, eating yeah. that, I don't think that you should you should have to split that. But people who I would if, if, if I did, okay. if it was me uh, and I was ordering expensive drinks, I would say, hey, all the drinks I've ordered that goes on my tab. You know, I would say. Yeah, oh, but that's kind of it's kind of. That's why I don't like going out, to be perfectly honest with you, because of this, like, social dilemma. Jeff doesn't want to go out. Jeff doesn't no, want to No, that's not true. That's people. wrong. I'm doing it for the opposite reason of people, what they think I'm doing it for. You think I'm doing it because I'm a tight ass. I'm doing it because I don't want you to think I'm a big shot. Do you know what I'm saying? So if it's just like me, oh, my God. If I say do, you know what I'm saying one more time. <laughs> what happened? I don't. You said that. Now I can't stop saying it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, I do know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the funniest part I know. of the movie. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be saying that all night now. <laughs> Wait, what was I? <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Hold on. I you had like, one. I remember my first beer. You had one beer. I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants. So funny. Those are going in the garbage anyway, so I might as well. Yeah. Why? Okay. Because <laughs> there's oh, there's paint on them from all your hard work today. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan's like, pretend she's got a hard hat next door with a lunch pail. She's like, tough day's work. Um, I'm just going to leave on my overalls. You guys, that, <laughs> that was like an all day thing. You got to give me more credit. No, it looks very my nice. My neighbor gives me credit all the time. He's like, you were the hardest worker. And I'm like, I'll tell the you. foreman you did a great job. I hate you. <laughs> all right. Let me get back to what we were saying. We're totally like off the rails today. And, uh, oh, that like going out to dinner. Yep. So I don't like going out to dinner for that fact is because I get when the bill comes, I don't know if I should feel cool or if I should just pay for everybody. Like, I just I don't like the anxiety of going out to dinner. And then when the check comes, what do we do? Because if they're not your good friends, your good friends, will be like, hey, dude, let's just split it, whatever it is. And you're like, hey, no worries. I'll get you next time or whatever, you know, but it's with people that you're not with all the time. You don't know how to handle that situation. Or at least I don't. And I'm like. If I say split it, did I order too much? And maybe I should add a little more. Hey, do you want me to pay for the tip? Or if they order too much, should I be like, are they going to pick up the tab? I don't like that situation. I'd rather just go out and do my own thing. And then I'll meet you after for some drinks. Is that weird? Mm, I don't know. I think you just think you. I told I you don't I'm know over, what it is. I think I'm it's the way social. like the world is now and the way like social media is and the way maybe because you work on a show where y'all talk about just like everything. No, I'm you're I'm, just you think way too much well, about over everything. everything. Like every little thing, I'm like, are you serious? It's just I, I mean everything. I'm aware of like everything. Yeah. You you Because I'm like, oh man, that person's you're, looking. I think which I think it's a good thing and not a good thing. And I've always said this, you might agree or might not agree, but I think, like your friends in Chicago too, I feel like you guys are, you're more standoffish with people and you don't trust people. And More so now than I used to be. Oh, way more now. Yeah. Like my brother yeah. says it all the time. He's like, uh, Jeff is not as, so. like you're just very standoffish with people. Um, 
me. Because everyone has something to say, you know? And if I don't know you like that, and uh, you're just saying- coming up and being social and I crack a joke that's totally not inappropriate, just making like conversation or I say something, Everyone's so offended these days by everything. They're like, oh, what? I mean, what? And like their face is like appalled. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I said the, the Broncos suck. And people are like socially offended. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. And I, can't, I just don't like, I don't like it. Yeah, it's just, it's just the way like the world is. The 80s were way better. Don't you wish we lived in the 80s? We're like adults. I do. How old were you in the 80s? You were oh, born in 86. I know, but I just love the 80s. <laughs> you're a true 80s kid because you're born in 78. But you're I don't like, know. I don't a, even like, remember but, like, that But I much. love the 80s. Like the music, the dancing, the clothes, the big hair. Like it's but, just, So here, but, this is a perfect example. Okay. Let's use that example. Okay. okay. And again, I'm overly thinking this, okay? okay? But if you say, I love the 80s, I wish I grew up in the 80s, people would say, the, in a conversation with people you didn't know, they'd say it wasn't great for everybody back in the eighties. And that's where the conversation would go. And it's like, man, I'm just talking about the bears won the Super Bowl in 85 and I like the music and they bring it to a social climate where I'm like, I'm just having a beer, man. I don't want to get into this conversation. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? No. And I get that they have <laughs> you know a point, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but they have a point. They definitely have a point, but it, I don't need to do that in every single conversation I have, especially outside of work, because that's what I do for a living. So maybe that's where my like my tolerance is like zero for that stuff. And I don't mind getting into conversations, like I said, with people I know, but when people bring that up and I don't really know you, they're looking for me to give them a sound bite that they could tell their friend and be like, could you believe Jeff said this, you know? And that's why I'm kind of standoffish these days. That's a perfect it's example. It's true, and it wait, it makes me laugh. I'm. I feel like I was more, what is it more, what's the word I'm looking for? More open, more trusting, more whatever. But I feel like lately I'm like, well. Sometimes it's, I'm not making fun of you, but it's like naive a little bit to a lot of that, maybe things that are going word. on. Maybe that's the word I'm but looking it's, for. But, it, you know, if you look at it the other way, you just have a big heart and you talk to everybody, you know? Yeah. I do try to talk to everybody. We love our neighbors. They're the best. I love having drinks with my next door neighbor. We have so much fun. She's my favorite. She's just like me. We just get our lawn chairs and we sit out there and we bake and get drunk. (laughs) You mean bake in the sun. Bake in the sun. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't mean weed. I didn't mean weed. Oh, by the way, can I say this? We sit outside and do lines. I mean, like, we mow our lawn. (laughs) I did just get some weed gummies. I've never had a weed gummy before in my life. And so... I'm going to try one. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Let's get, I don't know. Where is it? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I've been recently <laughs> drinking. I have problem like sleeping. <laughs> and because I all, I'm thinking about things like all the time, like a million things are in my head. So I can never relax. So I have to like watch Curb Your Enthusiasm or something funny to totally get my mind off things before I fall asleep. And usually I take uh, like a melatonin of some sort, you know, something to help me sleep. But lately I've been drinking these uh, little weed drinks. They're like two milligrams uh, CBD and four milligrams THC. And I, I'm not like, seriously, I'm not into drugs at all. Like this is a honest just thing. So I've been drinking those. Not Everybody smokes weed or does gummies. Listen, smoke crack. I don't care what you do. <laughs> I'm saying for me, I don't do drugs. Like, drugs aren't my thing. You know what I mean? So I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. If you do a shot every time I say you know what I mean in this podcast, <laughs> hammered. <laughs> what happened to you? You said that story, and now I'm just, like, going along with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's so stupid. We're going to have to do this whole podcast over because I don't even know what's Are happening. Are you high? No. And I don't even know where I'm going with this story. Anyways, I drink those things and they help me go to sleep. The end. You know what I'm saying? Dude, what's... All right. How much longer do we got on this thing? I think we're good. All right. <laughs> you can wrap it up. Thanks for listening to our random mess. And um, we'll see you guys next uh, next week. <laughs> Probably. I'll let you know how the gummies go. <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>